In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play She by Harry Styles on the acoustic guitar. I'm also going to give you some ideas for the lead part. Well, I'm not going to cover the lead part note for note. I want to let you know how you can play it, what kind of mode they're playing in, and maybe give you some ideas. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to 1,000 viewers. And check out the Patreon where you can join for as little as $5 a month, and you're going to get a guitar, pro, and PDF file of the chord lesson for this uh, particular song. So grab a guitar, and let's play. This song has six chords you can all play in the first position, so let's go over them now. The first chord we're going to look at is going to be E minor in the first position. You can use your first or second fingers, or second and third fingers on the fourth and fifth string second fret. Next we've got a D minor 7. Whoops! First finger on the first fret of the first string, second finger on the third string second fret, and you're going to include the fourth string, the D. Third chord is going to be a C major 7. So if you know a C chord in the first position, just take that finger off and you're only going to be using your second and third fingers. Next up, we've got A minor 7. It's like an A minor, but you're going to remove the third finger and expose the 7, which is the G. Next, we've got a B7. So we're going to form a little triangle shape here with our fingers. First finger on the uh, fourth string, first fret second and third fingers on the second fret of the third and fifth strings respectively, and then we're going to put our pinky down on the second fret of the first string. Now if you know the bar chord B7 on the uh, fifth string, you can play that also, but I'm pretty sure they're using this version in the song. And then finally we've got a D minor 7. It's going to be a first finger barring the first and second frets, uh, on the first and second strings, and your second finger is going to go on the third string, second fret, and you're going to include the low uh, fourth string. For this song, there's really only three different chord patterns. The chorus, the intro, the, the guitar, outro, solo section is all going to be E minor, D minor 6, C major 7, A minor 7, and B7. So I'll play an example of that pattern right now. That's the E minor, E minor 6, C major 7, A minor 7, and then B7. From there it's going to go to the verse pattern, and the verse pattern is going to be the same every time. It's going to go from E minor to D major 7, sorry, D minor 7. C major 7, and then A minor 7, and B7. So every time we get to a verse, it's going to have those same five chords. E minor, D minor 7, C major 7, A minor 7, and B7. After the first verse, we get into the first chorus, same as the intro, E minor, D minor 6, C major 7, A minor 7, and B7. For the bridge, we get into our third pattern, and this is the only other different pattern. It's going to be a measure of E minor, half measure of A minor 7, half my, uh, measure of B7. From there, we go right into a second verse, E minor, D minor 7, C major 7, a minor 7, and B7. From there, second chorus. Second chorus is the same as the first chorus. E minor, D minor 6, C major 7, A minor 7, and then B7. And for that second chorus, that pattern is going to repeat two times. Third verse, going to be the same as the first verse. Third chorus is going to be the same as the first chorus or essentially half as long as the second chorus. So the first chorus is one time through that pattern, second chorus is two times through that pattern, and then the third chorus is going to be only one time through that pattern. Um, and then the third chorus, all the chorus patterns, and the guitar solo outro section are all the same pattern. So E minor, D minor 6, C major 7, A minor 7, and then B7. One song, three patterns.
Getting into the electric parts in the song, there is a ton of killer parts, and there's probably a ton of killer guitar tutorials out there. Tutorials? Am I saying that right? Uh, you can look those up on YouTube, but what I'd like to do for this particular song is if you're learning to play guitar and you're learning to play leads, this is a song that you can play E minor pentatonic over the entire song. So think of this as a, an, an opportunity to, to learn the pentatonic scale. I'll attach that to the Patreon, or you can look it up online. Um, it would be a really cool thing to do to uh, improve your soloing skills over this particular song. So I'll give you a couple of really quick examples. So if you're new to guitar, bust out the pentatonic um, scales for E minor. Tons of them online. Again, I'll include it uh, down in the Patreon. Uh, most people are familiar with the one pattern, which is uh, if you start on the 12th fret, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. Now there's a lot of places on the neck you can play those notes, and I'll go over a couple of things that he's doing on the solo. First of all, when they go into the line she, he's doing a bend on the uh, second fret and th uh, second string and third string on the 12th fret. So he's doing that. Doing a cool little riff, right? He's bending these strings, and then you have another section where it's like. So there I'm doing the third finger on the third string, seventh fret, first finger on the second string, uh, fifth fret. And basically I'm bending the third string up to the pitch of the uh, E. Another few things you can do if you don't know your pentatonic scale that well, but you know the E minor chords, you can outline some of those. Uh, and you might hear the effect I have on this particular sound, uh, same as the guy has on the record, it's an octave fuzz pedal. So not only are you hearing the original note, but you're also hearing uh, like a distorted high frequency that it's going to be an octave above. You can hear it better uh, on the higher notes. So for the solo and the outro, dig into the pentatonic scale, push yourself to try some new stuff, copy some licks, go watch some other videos. Uh, I'll probably even link something down below that talks about the solo um, and have fun. It's like a three or four or six minute song. You can just totally rock out to, um, drive the neighbors crazy, put the headphones on, but not too loud. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe down below and leave me a comment. Also check out the Patreon where you can start for as little as $5 a month. I'm gonna have a PDF and guitar pro file of the chord parts of this particular lesson, and I'm also going to include um, a, a PDF of the E minor pentatonic scale, so you can download that and check it out. If you don't want to do that, there's a million places online that you can check it out, so please do that and have fun, alright? I'll see you in the next video.